Hey, hey, everybody, this is Larry. This is me going to Q3 of the Weekly Kindness 282. Minimum number, uh, sorry, minimum time to complete trips. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, join me on Discord. Um, let me know what you think about this particular problem. So, for, for, so one thing that you can know for this problem is that for every trip, uh, or sorry, for every time, you, it is strictly increasing, right? So then now you're trying to figure out... Um, so because it is strictly increasing, um, you're trying to find a minimum... You can change this problem from uh, a number problem to a Boolean problem because you want this condition to be true, which is to complete at least uh, total trips trips, right? So that means that if you convert this to... Oops. To, okay, is, at t equals to 1, does this have uh, enough trips? t equals 2, does it have enough trips? Dot, 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 right? So that means that it's going to look like something like this. Um, it's going to be false, 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 true, 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 right? And then now we're trying to find the minimum time that is required. So that means that we're looking for basically the first t, which is this one. Uh, I I will have a binary search video out. Um, I've been meaning to push it out. I just need to edit it a bit. Um, so definitely look out for that if you wanted more details. But that's basically the idea. And then here, um, and then we have this formula, uh, this uh, function that let us figure out the number uh, of trips we get for a given time, right? And that's pretty straightforward in a sense that they tell you what to do. Um, one thing to keep in mind is that all the, all the time is... Um, uh, all the time is independent of each other, so that's why you can you know just divide it in a minimal number of way, and it has to be completed, right? So, so that's basically how this formula comes about. Um, oops, how did that happen? And once you do that, then that gives you that. Um, this is basically binary search, um, and the thing with binary search that I always ask is that there's only two things, right? So the only so now let's say you have this good function and you only have two places it can be, right? One is one of the, oops, one of the F's or one of the T's. Let's say it's inside an F, right? Um, let's say we're looking at here. Well, what does that mean? That means that we need a bigger number, right? Um, and that's basically the idea here. So we want to look at the, the right side because we want a bigger number. And of course, the current number is not possible because it's not true, right? We want a, we want a true value. Uh, for this f, and because of that, we add it by mid plus one because mid plus one is the number t immediate to the right of the arrow. Um, and then here, if, otherwise, if we are at the at one of the t's, then we can eliminate all the numbers to the right as well here because we know that um, that this particular t is a possible answer. But also, um, it may be that there's a small number to the left, right? So that's basically the binary search number. Um, yeah, again, I will probably uh, publish um, a binary search specific video on how I um, dig into this a little bit. Uh, I did make a mistake on this one, though, because I got sloppy on the bounds. Um, it turns out that... Uh, it turns out that for this one, uh, yeah... Yeah, so for this one, um, I, I initially have 10 to the 12 because I, I was lazy and I just times 10 to the 5th times 10 to the 7. But actually, you need it a little bit more because, um, because the worst case in this case is that it's the total n number of trips is 1 uh, time to the 7. Uh, uh, wait, is it 1? Uh, no, 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 sorry. Um, in, in any case, it should be... 10 to the set, uh, let me think about this for a second, but the, but this 10 to the fifth, um, time will all be one, say, right, so then that means that, yeah, after one time, it'll be 10 to the fifth, so you need to do something that, um, yeah, it gives you a big number, I, um, and that's basically what I did, is that I update to 10 to the 20, um, on the logic, that'll be 10 times, uh, 10 to the 5th times 10 to the 5th uh, each um, because because for this one x could be um, we want a number that uh, x is so big that if if t is you go to 1 um, yeah and then 
this will be still be able to be bigger than t total trips. So that's basically the idea about getting enough infinity in the bounds. Um, and that's pretty much it. Um, this function is going to be O of n, of course. Uh, and this one is going to be O of log um, the size of the universe, which in this case is 10 to the 20. I think there's a tighter one, but I'm, I, this is my virtual contest code, so you're seeing it here. And yeah, and that's pretty much it. So this is O of uh, n log u, right, because of this. Um, yeah, that's all I have for this one. Let me know what you think. Um, and you can watch me solve it live during the contest. Next. Okay, cool. What's a little bit where we boost because I didn't test it enough, but let's go Q3. Give me time, time, if I one trip, okay. The next trip, can, okay, what does that mean? Okay. Uh, so time, 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 da, 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 da. A minimum time to do all three. Uh, I mean, that's just by a search probably, but I... Okay, I mean, there's no influence. They're all independent, so this is just by a search, right? So, yeah, okay. Uh, wait. Mm. Total trips. Uh, what am I doing? Okay, so the, the time will be, uh, I don't know. But let's just do something big, and then we'll figure it out later. Okay, so if good, that means that we have at least total trips. Then that means that we want it to be smaller. Uh, yeah. Okay. Um, okay. Mm, so time two. Okay, so it's just uh, do, 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 do. something like that, right? How do, how do my game is clicking? Three and two. Okay, let's give it some. I'm only worried about a little bit about timeout, but not that much. Oh, snaps. Oh, wow. Huh, I didn't do the math. I did 10 to 12 because I thought this and this. But that is actually kind of sad. Uh, okay. Wow. I mean, of all the things to get wrong and so on, that's a little bit sad. Um, not going to lie. Because this is... Uh, yikes. Okay. So let's give it some bit. I'm not gonna lie, I just times to t 10 to 5 times 10 to 7. Now that we're a little bit of a timeout, this judging is a little bit slow. Okay, fine. What a silly mistake, though. Hey, everybody. Yeah, thanks for watching. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button. Join me on Discord. I will see you soon. Stay good, stay healthy, and to good mental health. Bye bye.